This is why Menifee is in the top 10 most booming town in America. It's because places like Quartz Ranch. Quartz Ranch in Menifee, California is a booming community here with a lot of beautiful amenities and some beautiful homes. Now, what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna take you around three different homes in three different price points so that way you may gauge what may fall within your budget. And if you stick around until the end, I'm gonna share a little market recap of what Quartz Ranch really does have to offer and does it make sense? So stay tuned because we're gonna get after it right now. So here we are, we're touring Quartz Ranch. I'm right outside the community. I'm right off La Pedra. It's, it's more of an up and coming street. Yes, they have extended it. It is getting a lot more busier. Obviously, Quartz Ranch does contribute to that because it is a big community. Not to mention <laughs> that there's a school right here. So that's Evans Elementary School. So it's a school here in Menifee. Oh, there's plenty of others. Now this is actually a really great school and conveniently located right next to this amazing community. So if you're looking to move to somewhere that is conveniently located to a school, well, there's multiple neighborhoods, but Quartz Ranch is a great neighborhood and you're going to see that. Now they do have some awesome amenities, you know, park, pocket parts throughout. It's pretty big. I mean, it hooks up here to La Pedra as well as another uh, major street named Holland Road, which they're actually building an on-ramp to now off the 215 to get off onto Holland Road. So if you live on that side of Quartz Ranch, it's gonna be extremely more convenient for you now, instead of having to get off on Newport Road, which everyone knows if you live in Menifee, you kind of want to avoid Newport because it's one of those streets that just got overcrowded and it is packed, like jam packed, especially during rush hour. You just want to definitely avoid it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you three different modeled homes and three different price points. I want to really get you to understand what you can get for 600,000, 700, and even 800,000 here in Quartz Ranch. Now the houses, they all range. You can get a three bedroom all the way to a seven bedroom. I kid you not, a seven bedroom. So that it right there is appealing in itself. Not to also mention that some of these houses have next gen suites so if you're looking for a big house and then small little maybe mother-in-law suite well they have that option here so that is a really appealing thing as well so you know what i'm just gonna stop talking and let's go after the first home so here we are this is the first home starting in the low 600s now this bad boy is 2419 square feet four bed three bath and it also has a loft, all right? So it is a three car uh, bay optional. So that's a really nice feature. Let's go see what this bad boy has to offer. All right, so walking in here, just wow, spectacular. I mean, so I'm right now in the living area. Look how just beautiful, stunning it is. As soon as you walk in, it just gives you that grand wow, right? Now I'm walking in towards the kitchen. Now check this kitchen out. I actually like this. I usually, I'm not the biggest fan of granite, but with this contrast, it looks really good. Now, some might say this looks like a little bit darker of a kitchen, but I personally, I'm enjoying this right now. And also look at the nice little fixtures and upgrades that I have here on this dining table. This is a really nice floor plan. I love their flooring as well. And so it's just a very open floor plan. You can kind of see how the dining with the living just kind of flow out and then the kitchen, it kind of comes kind of at an angle, but it still flows really well. So if you have guests and you like to entertain, this would be ideal because you have the sliding door here, right? Connecting to the little dining table where you can just let people go out. You see the pantry right there as well. Now moving on downstairs, which is really cool. You do have that half bath. I'm sorry, the full bath. One of the first three baths is right here. So. You know, if you have someone that lives here in the downstairs in one of the four bedrooms, this would be an ideal location for them, obviously, you know, or maybe you can keep it as a guest room because it does have that full shower in there. Now, again, it is a three car garage. So just to bring that out there. Now we're gonna head up upstairs to the rest of the three bedrooms and also that loft. Now, I'm not too sure if you can hear the music in the background, but they have some good jams playing. 
All right, so heading into the loft. So as soon as you, I, I walked upstairs, they have this little desk table right here, which is cool, so you can set up as work or for your children. And then you have the cool loft. So they just have a great design going on right now. And I'm really vibing with this house. So it's really nice. Now, you do have this nice cool window that you can probably make into a bench, like they have pillows there set up. So your children can just have, you know, a nice view. Now, personally, this is a nice view right here, right? That's a cool portrait right there of this long wiener dog. I haven't seen that, that just came out. I don't know, pointing stuff out right in this house. Loved model home. So this is the model home. Now that was the loft. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you into one of the first bedrooms. Now here we are to, I'm sorry, the second bedroom because the first one we saw downstairs. Here's a second bedroom. And I'm gonna tell you these bedrooms are pretty spacious. Now you can see, so these are like two twin size beds right here, um, right behind me, but they fit perfectly and there's plenty of room. So from these beds right here to the end, cause they have like little ottomans to the wall, it's not, it's, it's pretty spacious. So to the dresser, I mean, it stands out a good three feet. So you have plenty of room if you do have, you know, two kids that want to bunk together, this would be ideal. And they even have their own walk-in closet, which is again, pretty spacious. So this is just a nice, good size room. So that's room number two. Now let's go into room number three, left or right. All right, we're gonna go right guys. All right, so just went right. And here is the third bedroom. You gotta love their designs here. These designs are awesome. Good, spacious uh, bedroom. And again, you have a walk-in closet. Now it's not as big as that one I just showed you, but it's still a nice, good sized walk-in closet. Now this room, I definitely feel is a bit smaller, but the nice thing is it's connected right towards that full bath and the shower. So that's really cool. You're kind of trading off. Hey, I'm going to be away from, you know, the shower and stuff like that, but I'm going to have a bigger room. And then do you have your laundry room upstairs? Of course you have to have it upstairs for your convenience. Now let's go to that great room, that master room, whatever they call them nowadays. So here we are in that master bedroom. This master bedroom is really spacious. I mean, they have this design, you know, laid out perfectly and they have just some nice decor going on. Now, right in front of it, it just kind of flows into your shower, which is really cool. And then the sinks, you gotta have the double sinks right here. And then towards the back here, you got your toilet and your walk-in closet. So, walk-in closet, it's kind of interesting. As soon as you walk into the walk-in closet, it's kind of an L shape and you're kind of going towards the back here and you have a little nice window. So this right here, you know, it's gonna be all her and this right here is all me. All right, so that right there is the master bedroom with the walk-in closet. And that right there is what you can get for the low 600s here at Quartz Ranch in Menifee, California. Now let's go head on to the second home. So here we are, home number two. Now this one right behind me is currently in the high 600s. So it's currently in the high 600s and it is 2,434 square feet. I know what you might be thinking, Jonathan, you just showed us something for less with more. Now it is a three bed, two bath. However, it does have a next gen suite that is that one bed, one extra bath. So definitely let's not miss that. Let's go check this baby out. Because I don't wanna disappoint, I'm gonna actually walk into the private entrance for this private next gen suite. It does have its own entryway. Now here I am, you can instantly see, this is the little living room for this next gen suite. It has its own little kitchenette here and then, you know, decent sized fridge, which is really cool. And it has its own garage entrance, right? So here's the garage entrance. It is a three car garage, so one car garage here, and there's a two car garage for the main house. All right, so that's a really cool, neat feature. So. Again, I didn't take you in through the front of the actual house. I took you in through the private entrance for the next gen suite. So here's the living area with the kitchen, right? So this is a really cool thing. And now I'm gonna show you, it does have its own washer and dryer stackable, and it does have its own little private bathroom and shower, which is extremely convenient. All right, so if you do have, you know, that one 
child, I'm always messing around, kid, family member, whoever you want to stick out here away from the house, perfect area. They can have their own living place. Now here is that extra bedroom for this next gen suite. So it's a full size bedroom with the closet and everything. And again, you get your own private bath, your own washer and dryer, your kitchenette, garage, and your living area. Now there is a door that does connect to the actual main house. And so now let's get into this main house. All right, so here I am at the entrance of the main home. Right there, right behind me is the front door. So here I'm walking into this huge open floor plan. This is an amazing floor plan. I love it. It is grand slam. So you can see why it's in the high 600s, right? Because look at that. I mean, wow, perfect for entertaining. As soon as you walk in, you can walk right back out to that beautiful backyard right there. Now look at this beautiful kitchen in this huge kitchen island. I think it's massive kitchen island with a nice, great dining table that is still separate. So if you still want that formal dining table, you still have it right here with, again, your living area right there. So again, you got your kitchen. You can be cooking, you know, and entertaining guests at the same time. So while you're at the kitchen cooking, putting snacks together, you know, you got your little snack bar here and you can be talking to your guests while they're coming in and out of the house. This is a good party house. You know who I'm talking to. You know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to you. And let's not forget, you gotta have a pantry. So it's a little walk-in pantry. It's a great size still. Um, I mean, it fits me in there. So that's a really good, great pantry. Now I'm walking away from the living area in the kitchen gonna go into the bedrooms. So as soon as I walk in here to this hallway, I'm gonna turn left into our Grand Slam Master Bam. Like to run, check that out. All right, so here we are in the master. Beautiful master, and, and it is right there. How convenient is that? Big, beautiful window, so you can have that natural lighting just flow into this room. You do have your walk-in closet as well, which is really good size. Again, just like the first one, these builders, you're getting really smart. You got the, all oh, the hers. And then there's Jonathan, right? So you builders, they know what they're doing. All right, so that is the master. Let me show you that master bath and how it kind of flows in to this. So it just flows right in. As you can see, you're gonna see me right there. That's the back of me, hello. You got the double sinks, tub, and shower. So actually having a tub nowadays, it's kind of more of a luxury because you're starting to phase tubs out because I guess only like 4% of you know Americans use a tub. It's pretty odd, right? But this right here is a master. I think it's a great master bedroom. I love the big window to have that natural lighting in there as well. Now leaving that master bedroom, let's go further down the hall so I can show you the rest of the other two bedrooms. But before I do, before I get to those restrooms, I'm sorry, bedrooms, my mistake. You do got that other full bath, right? So this is really cool because they do have a door for that shower. So you can close that off while you have your sink here and you can be, you know, washing your hands, uh, washing your hands, brushing your teeth. Right in front of that bathroom, you do have that laundry room, which is extremely convenient because it's right next to bedroom two and three. So I'm gonna make a little left here. Um, and as soon as I walked in to the left side right here, here is that second bedroom. So this one's kind of converted into a nursery. They don't have walk-in closets. However, still really good sized bedroom. So that's a really cool thing. Now, right in front of this one, you have the other third bedroom. So again, great sized bedrooms. As you can see, they're not walk-in closets like the last home. However, you're getting that next gen suite here. And I like this bedroom actually because you can see who's coming to your house. So, you know, if you have an older kid maybe, Possibly, if you don't have kids, no big deal. Maybe an older dog that looks out the window so you can see who's trespassing. Ideal, good idea, right, Jonathan? All right, so right leading into these uh, bedrooms, you do have that garage. So you saw in the next gen suite that there was a little one car garage attached to it. So here's that actual two car garage for the primary home. So that right there is what you can get in the high 600s here in Menifee, California. Now let's head on to 
the last home. So here we are, this is the last home, the one you don't wanna miss out, right? So this one right behind me, it does have 4,132 square feet. It is a five bedroom slash six bed optional with three and a half baths and also has that flex suite that is a one bed, one bath, but it, it is a one to two optional as well because it does have a retreat that you can. So again, this one can be that seven bedroom home. Again, don't wanna miss out. Let's go check this bad boy out. So I'm gonna be taking the separate entrance again instead of taking the actual main uh, door just because I want you guys to understand there is a separate entrance here for this amazing flex gen suite. All right, so walking into the flex gen suite, not the main house. Here I am. This is the flex gen suite here in this home. Now check this out, a little bit bigger than the last one. Now check out this kitchenette here. Has its own little sink, mini fridge, right? Doesn't have that full size fridge. What, you know what does come with this cool house? You see this door right here, right attached to this kitchenette? It's actually to the outside of the house where Amazon or any carrier can drop off just items. So if you have Amazon coming in, they can come through your gate right here, drop it off, and whoever is that flex gen suite owner can just let them in, or you can let other people in through that door as well. All right, so here I am, kind of more of the living space. So here's a retreat that's converted into an office in this flex, uh, flex gen suite that you can convert into a bedroom. So this can be that second bedroom here. Now, working my way downtown, walking, just kidding. So here's a half bath for that flex gen suite. Now we're gonna go further away. So you can see there's a door right here. So I can close off that whole side of that flex gen suite. And now really welcome to the grand of this gen suite. Look at this. This is a much bigger living. You got a full kitchen with a full actual refrigerator. Not bad. Washer and dryer, stackable like always. Full bath here. So really like, this is a whole apartment in this home, to be quite honest, because it has a full bath, half bath, one full bedroom right here with a closet. You have that retreat that you can convert into a second bedroom, right? If you wanted to space out the other side because maybe you have a growing little family that's living here on the side, uh, they can have that side of the, the next gen suite. And then, you know, the main can have this side. So it's really two separate living areas in this big grand house that I'm about to walk into. Now here I am into the primary. Now, let me just turn my back so you can see. Woo! This is the primary home. Now right there is actually the front entrance to this house. And there is another separate entrance here from that flex gen suite. And there's another entrance right here, the one that I just walked out of as well, just to kind of get you an understanding of what this home has to offer. But just like the last home, what a grand feeling. I mean, being in this home, it, it's a massive house and it has just this like spectacular, like grand slam, bam feel to it because it's so open. And with that flex gen suite, I just felt like I was, in a whole different house over there, to be quite honest with you, which in reality, I kind of was. So the kitchen with the formal dining in the living area, further down here, past the kitchen, you do have a half bath, which is really cool. Again, this is perfect for entertaining guests. Now, I wanna show you and tour you through the rest of the home because this one has some nice options. It does have a big loft as well. I didn't, I didn't forget to tell you that, or did I? All right, so walking up the stairs, I'm running out of breath, but here we are. This is the loft, which is a really good size, size loft. So for 4,000 square feet, they made sure they used every single inch of this house. Now, aside from that loft, you do have your washer, uh, washer and dryer uh, area right upstairs, right next to the master suite, All right? So I'm going into the master. As soon as I walk in, you have your bath. All right, so here is your full bath. Now check this bath out. I love the layout, right? You got the little middle vanity there for the missus or whatever the case may be. Full bath, shower, and a nice good 
size closet. So this one, they made it a little bit more fair, kind of half and half. I like this house, thank you. So there is your water closet there as well. Now let's walk in to the master. So this one's a big one because it does have a retreat that can be converted into a six bedroom. So this is a huge master because right behind me is that retreat. So this retreat right here, it's a, a whole nother bedroom. Now, you know, this is ideal if you work from home and maybe you want a home office, you can literally wake up, go brush your teeth, wash your face, come, you know, get a cup of coffee. You can even set it up right here and then just come and put some work in right there. So that's a really nice area where you can make it a nursery. There's so many different options that you can do with that retreat or just make it a full bedroom. All right. So that right there was the master. Now let's go on to see the other rooms. All right, so passing the loft right now, it's on the other side of the home. Now to my right, the first door that I get is a bedroom. So this is a nice, cool, decent sized room here. It doesn't have a walk-in closet, but that's okay because I mean, the house is plenty big in itself. Now, right across from this bedroom, you do have a big, big shower which is really cool about this one in particular that's a full, is you do have double sinks, but the really cool feature is there's a separate door here for a toilet here and a shower, but check this out. On the other side, there's a full door here closed off with another toilet and a bath. So that right there, you don't see that very often. So that's really cool is you got a full shower, a full bath, toilets in both directions that you can close off. Now going into another bedroom. So this would be bedroom three, three or four. All right, so this is a good size room. This is cool, little painting here, Frenchie right behind me. But this is a good, great size room, similar to the, the last one we just saw, exact same, I feel in the, uh, in the square footage wise. So here we are walking down the hall to the final bedroom of this home. So look at this. So this bedroom right here down the hall does have a walk-in closet. So, you know, if you have, a, you know, somebody that just has excess stuff, you can throw it right there. So that right there is what you can get here in Menifee, California for the mid 800s, mid 800s, right? In Menifee, California, 4,000 square foot house with the flex gen suite that has an option to be a seven bedroom home. So if you have a huge family, right, this would be an ideal home for you. Now what we're gonna do, that's all the houses. I'm gonna do a little recap of all the houses, this community in Manifee, California. So stay tuned, because we're gonna get after that right now. So market recap time, I love these homes. I just love them. That right there, that last home was spectacular. Now really in reality you know is that too much of a house for you you know that's something that you're going to definitely have to consider but overall all three homes are spectacular now there's definitely more options for you but for the sake of this video and i didn't want to make it an hour long right i showed you three of the more popular ones that do get a lot of traction that do just make sense right so if you've been looking in places like temecula or marietta or other areas like corona california or you may be moving from la san jose san, san diego San Francisco and you just can't find something that's right for you, I promise you, like I did, you know, I made the move to Menifee and I know this, you're gonna get the bang for your buck and just not only that, you're gonna bank on long-term appreciation on how big it's booming. And so I know a lot of people think like, well, there's not much in Menifee. Well, not much in Menifee yet, but again, top 10 most booming towns are constantly building in this area. And overall, there's so many different communities with so many options of homes with some great prices. I think overall, Menifee is gonna be a great area to live and not just Menifee in general, but this community, because you just saw that you can get a 4,000 square foot home with a seven bedroom options for under a million dollars in California, in Southern California to be you know, more specific, like 45 minutes to an hour from the beach. So overall, I think this is a great area, great neighborhood. Now, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, definitely comment down below. Thank you for watching, living in South California.